take this wizarding news right here. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop! You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. There weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. Bring up. Send me. 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 Send me
I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the Headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Revelio. These Inferi seem far from controlled. I need to find a way up that ledge. I need to open the sarcophagi.
the Inferi. They're everywhere. Rebellion. I need to move the bones and make a bridge. Sebastian. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian. I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! Don't! The Relic! You'll pay for this!
Sebastian, you must stop. Uh, I won't let her suffer. Avana Kedavra! What have you done? I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. What is it? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it. You went too far, Sebastian. I, I can't think right now. I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right?
Blockade. Brookwood's poachers are already here. Galleons. Rebellion. Confringo! 
Revelio. Maneuver was it? It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Aloha Ravenia.
Incendio! Confringo! Rebellion. Venia. Legs is simply too many. <gasps> Rebellion. Yes, 
slay one of my own. You will That was for High Wing. Revenia. Ravenia. Hello. I'm here to help. I can take you somewhere safe. you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Revelio. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... You keep it close.
Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Nothing to identify, for now at least. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. You do know. Anne has no one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll tell the headmaster. Farewell for now. 
I shall be in touch. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. Have you made peace with the time you've lost? Ah, but I don't truly know how much time I have lost. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was in exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point, no magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, Perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. Yes, Professor. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. Summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while too, you know. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? I'm ready. No time like the present. Ah, 
Tokyo. We all make mistakes. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! That's no way to treat a professor. Akio! We all make mistakes. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. I suppose there's not much left you can teach me now. <laughs> One always has something to learn. You see, I just taught you something. As the new Summoner's Court champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. Well played in Summoner's Court. <laughs> I dare say I learned a bit from you. Always a treat. Uh. I didn't think anyone could beat Professor Ronan. Professor, I wondered if I could ask how you came to Hogwarts. Ah, uh, I suppose that is not an unexpected question. After I told you about my time in Mahutukoro, it was a simple matter of fate, really. After my experience with the Toyohashi Tengu, I was determined to find work that would fulfill me. I accepted a position with the Japanese Ministry of Magic. I cannot tell you the specifics of my work. A few years into my post, I had the honor of working with Professor Weasley. At the time, a curse breaker for the British Ministry. Professor Weasley was a curse breaker for the Ministry. She was. But I would advise you not to inquire upon it. She is quite clear that her focus is now Hogwarts. We coordinated, shall we say, defensive efforts on a particular matter, and were talking one evening about the rigors of our respective positions. She mentioned plans to return to Britain and Hogwarts specifically. I noted I could appreciate her decision. Her description of the school was so enchanting that when she wrote to me a few years later about the open position of flying professor, I was intrigued. I suppose I can understand wanting to move on from all that you went through with the Tengu. But that is not at all what happened. I was not moving on. What happened would always be a part of me. I learned from it. My reason for coming to Hogwarts was to expand my horizons. Then you enjoy being a flying instructor, even after all that happened. I do. And not despite all that happened, but because of it. You would do well to let lessons be just that, lessons. Learn from your errors, in judgment or otherwise. 
I am proud to impart such knowledge upon students, no matter where in the globe they may reside. It is. She's wrong. Professor, what did you mean when you said your education wasn't traditional? <laughs> I had bet myself a butterbeer you'd be back to ask about that. <laughs> it seems I've earned myself a trip to the Three Broomsticks. My father insisted rather adamantly that fun had no place when it came to learning. I struggled with his rather Socratic method of teaching, made no progress with even the simplest spells until I made a game of it. As the process itself became a source of joy, I was able to better retain what I was being taught. I realized then how much fun was to be had in learning, and I decided to become a professor so that I may pass that joy along. I myself feel studying is worthy of a more serious approach. Then we shall have to disagree, but I appreciate your honesty. Now, I shall not keep you from your studies, nor time with your fellow students, both of which are invaluable to your education. Italians and a historian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. I don't mind her for myself. Copy's finally made a friend. 